Okay, so we've signed up for a Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 trial account. We've got a 30-day trial. We had to put in a debit card, and it said it's going to bill us again uh, in 30 days or bill us in 30 days after our trial has expired. So I want to show you a couple of things we can do to manage that. So I'm going to start. I've logged in. I'm in my uh, portal here. So I am going to go to billing. And under billing, I'm going to select my products. And we're going to see two things under here. We're going to populate. So here we go. Uh, Entra, which is Entra ID, uh, Microsoft Entra ID free. And then no licenses assigned, purchase quarterly, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got our Microsoft 365 business. Now, this is where we actually have the licenses. So I've got one assigned license, and that was for me because I just created the account. 25 total, 24 available. And it's going to start charging me for them before long when my trial expires. Now, I can actually address this. So if I click this little drop down here, I can edit my recurring billing. So if I click on this, and I've already turned off recurring billing, but by default it's turned on. So the monthly subscription will be bought on April 30th of 2025 with 25 licenses and renews every single month. If I turn it off, if I leave it on, then on April 30th it's automatically going to bill my uh, credit card. If I turn it off, then it doesn't automatically bill my credit card. Instead, what happens is my subscription expires which is a way to avoid getting charges that I don't expect. So if I'm just doing this as a trial, I mean, if I'm doing it as a trial because I know I'm going to use it, then yes, I will leave that turned on. But if I'm doing this as a trial to learn 365, then no, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So because I'm doing this for class, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then close. Now, the other thing is this is a 30-day trial. If I click here, on my business standard, this is going to bring up more information for me, including, by the way, the ability here to let me find it. Here's my recurring. So I can edit my recurring policy here, and it shows me what I've got. I've got one of 25 users. My recurring billing is turned off. Um, any custom settings related to it. And this is my expiration date. And I'm not going to do this at this point, but here's where I can come to extend the trial date. So I'm going to wait till I'm a little closer to the end of my trial, and then I'm going to come here and I will extend my trial date. Now, I cannot extend it indefinitely, but I can extend it and get a little more time out of it if 30 days just is not enough. So my other option here, if you are working with it, or let's say you're not going to extend it, you didn't turn off recurring billing, you just want to cancel it when you're done. You don't need the full 30 days. It's just going to be, you know, couple of things you want to check out real quick, takes you a couple of weeks, then you can come in and cancel the subscription. And you can actually cancel that at any time. Okay, so that gives you an idea of a couple of key things we can do, especially as we're moving through learning Microsoft 365, to extend our trial, to turn off recurring billing so that we don't get charged for it unexpectedly.